Yo, yo, yo. Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? This is your man Orlando Presents. Yes, and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. QuakeRadio.com live, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we're sitting here live, sitting here live, man. We're going to have a good time tonight. You got my man, Captain J, on the line. So, uh, man, we're about to tag team this thing this evening. And uh, we have our special guest on the line, Mr. Mike watts jr what's good bro what's good how you feeling i'm doing better doing so much better all right i'm doing so much better all right yeah for for this opportunity for for you know for those out there that may or may not have known mr uh watts jr was you know a little bit down and out and everything well he was down but not out he was down (laughs) never out so you know, so we that's why we had to reschedule and everything. But it's a great thing that uh, you're on with us now. Captain J trying to be all shy over there. Speak up, bro. You got to play me. I'm trying to be shy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk over anybody. <coughs> uh, it, it, don't, it don't stop him no way all the time, Mike. So don't even let him fool you, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's all I'm good. Not, That's my bro. Huh? I'm not like Judy. Oh. No. oh. <laughs> no need, man. Let's not get started on Diane, bro. Let's not get started on Diane. <laughs> but nah, um, but yeah, man, I'm glad you're on with us, bro. I could I I um affectionately call you and I haven't said this to anybody, so mm-hmm. I wanted to just tell you I affectionately call you the pointing pastor. Cause every mm. time I see your videos, them fingers are working, bro. Them yes, fingers, sir. Them fingers are working. I was like, oh, look at my brother, the pointing yes, pastor. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate that. Man, it's all good. It's all love, man. It's all love, most definitely. I'm pretty sure um, people have other names for me that I don't know. So hey, mm. we'll we'll just. <laughs> but yeah, man. But um. First things first, introduce yourself, let the folks know exactly who you are, just in case if uh, nobody has seen your videos or, you know, have heard of you before. So let's go ahead and start off with that. Well, I'm Michael J. Watt Jr. I originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but I reside in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I'm a father, husband, um, most importantly, a servant of God. Um, Excuse me. I've been walking with Christ for 22 years. Um, Got baptized at the age of 12. Um, I've been in church literally all my life. Um, I was in the military. Um, Currently have my own prayer ministry. Um, Been in my own prayer ministry for nine years now. I'm starting in 2013. Um, Also, I have my own shoe line, clothing line, Um, own podcast. I'm still working on the doing a few episodes. Um, and I do interviews from time to time with different people, uh, pastors, um, artists, um, and just all around love promoting what God is doing. So, um, and I want to say thank you to Quake RIC Radio, uh, where music is therapy uh, for the opportunity for the interview. Um, I'm beyond excited. Um, and whenever you guys have anything, just let me know. Um, I'll promote it um, best as I can. And I'm um, Working on going back live um, on my prayer page, um, and I normally do like broadcast um, different businesses um, with what they have coming up, what they have going on, um, how you can listen, how you can stay in contact with them. So I would definitely love to make a video for you guys, um, or if you guys can send me yours, um, and I can add it on my show or on my prayer page when I go live. Um, but pretty much that's me. Um, a lot. I love people. That's who I am. I love helping people. I love encouraging people, and I love praying for people. So. All right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man, we're going to have to uh, definitely talk after the show and everything. Probably not tonight, but um, okay. in the next couple of days or some, me, you, and uh, Captain J, and if Judy's available, all of us, okay. all of us try to brainstorm on, on some ways on how we can incorporate what you're doing with the station mm-hmm. and everything, because I love your okay. energy. I love... Okay. Um, how you present yourself and how you 
you put your um you put your content over and everything so mm -hmm. i would love to be able to sit down and talk and see how we can uh mm -hmm move forward and grow all of us grow yeah. together with that so. yeah not a problem not a problem um i have a whole lot of different contacts um all all throughout the world like i mean i would i just want to be able to promote you guys matter of fact i'll prom like whenever your times are let me know um and I, i'll promote them every day like i have this one radio show this will be my first ever well this will be my second ever radio interview um i have a friend in memphis um what is it? Uh, Pop Gospel Radio. Um, he's a 24/7 radio internet radio station. Um, he gave me the opportunity to do my first interview. You guys are my second, so um, I always promote his stuff. I'm always going to promote you guys' stuff. I'm gonna have a lot of friends in radio. Have a lot of friends that are artists, um, CHH, and also contemporary gospel, all types of gospel. Um, have a few friends that do um, regular rap or hip hop. Um, trap music whatever however you want to call it um but yeah <clears throat> i love music too so i'm a singer but i don't have any i don't have any albums out <laughs> but um i just love I, god's always god always give me a song on my heart um so i'm always always have something always have something that god gives me to sing um, um but yeah that's pretty much it um but yeah definitely definitely want to sit down and talk to you guys um and incorporate okay. you guys all right sounds good and sounds definitely good. be affiliate too like for me one thing i do is uh at the end of the year i work i i make a post of everybody that i either worked with or uh disser and normally it's a a whole bunch of different brands so definitely going to be putting you guys on it <laughs> we appreciate that we appreciate yeah. that and what where are you guys located i just wanted to make sure i knew for sure well i'm in i'm in virginia and right okay. now Captain J and Judy, they're in North Carolina. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I used to live in Virginia. I was stationed. I was stationed in uh, Portsmouth and Virginia Beach. Okay, yeah. While yeah. I was in the Navy. Yeah. yeah, I know that that area well. Yeah. See, that's uh, that's one thing that I I wanted to jump into because okay. I I saw that you were in the military mm -hmm. and everything, yes, sir. and I and I'm always interested in finding out. How is it being a follower of, of Christ, but being in the military? Because so, there, there are certain things mm -hmm. that do mm -hmm. go on that oh, kind of yeah. not, oh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to see contradicts being a but Christian. It, it doesn't line up. It, it doesn't yeah, line up. Yeah, puts that line. It doesn't line up. It doesn't line up all the time. Right. Um, but, but having a relationship with Christ makes it so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, don't get me wrong. Um, you're going to be tempted. You're gonna, you're gonna look. I can tell you stories. Um, but, but, um, <laughs> so I'll share this particular story. So, um, this one time I was in Japan and we had to sign out with, we had to have somebody to walk, to be with us if we were leaving the base or whatever. So I attended, I attended church service out in town and it was a five minute walk. So <laughs> I didn't have nobody to go with me that night. <laughs> so I ended up, I ended up, I put Jesus Christ as my, as my buddy. And <laughs> so I left, I left, didn't think nothing of it, came back. But I told the person that was on duty, I was like, look, I'm going to church. I'm going to church. I'm coming back. That's it. I'm, I don't stay out all night and do all that craziness. Um, so when I get back and I sign back in, the person that was over my platoon was like, you just find a way to make me mad. Right. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I did go and I came back and I had a person with me and, <laughs> and and the person that was with him was my first, he was my first platoon sergeant and he was like doc. So they, like they call the corpsman doc. So, cause I went to Marines and he was like, doc, I already know where you was at. I already know how you are. If you're not at church, you're with the Marines. If you're not at, with your Marines, you're at church. So he was so mad about that. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, and that's the thing too, like in the military, <clears throat> a lot of people reverence my relationship with God. And that's why a lot of my Marines were so close to me. They was like, dude, I'm I'm not religious or nothing, but what you have, man, it it helps it helps me. Like, um, like honestly, like the Marines will be they're they're kind of extreme. they they really are. Mm -hmm. And some of the younger Marines were like, Doc, you don't treat us the way everybody else does. I was like, it doesn't make my job easier. It doesn't make 
It doesn't help you by me being mean to you. It doesn't help me with my, like, as representation of Christ. And, like, we had, like, what was it? Uh, so during the holidays, that's when a lot of suicides was happening in the military. So, mm. um, and it was particularly around Thanksgiving when I was in Japan. And I, so it was one time I was in Japan doing Thanksgiving. The next time I was in Japan, it was doing Christmas. So separate years or two different years. So I had invited some guys. I was like, look, man, the, ch- the chapel, you know, is um, having dinner for, you know, whoever wants to come. We're not forcing anything on you. And that's one of the things the guys kept saying. I was like, dude, I am I'm, i don't want to, like, I don't want nothing forced on me. I was like, dude, nobody's forcing anything on you. We're inviting you to eat. You can go from there. Like, one guy was like, yeah, I got the devil in. Like, he was saying some off-the-wall stuff. He was like, I'll burn if I go in. I was like, bro, cut it out. Like, it's not like that. Why do why Why do people say that? That's something because, that people say all the time. Why do they because, say that? Because, because it's their mindset. Their mindset is not is not on the things of God. And when your mindset is not on the things of God, of course, you're not going to see you're not going to see his goodness. You're not going to see him working things out in your favor. You're not going to see things looking better. You're going to always see things. Oh, man, I just look at things from a worse perspective. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't live like that way. Mm-hmm. Well, if I expect the worst, then I won't be surprised by it. Yeah, but that's a negative outlook on life. That's a very negative outlook on life. Um, and I and I, I encourage them all the time. I was like, look, man. Whenever you need to talk, call me. Whenever you need to, and a lot of people are like, but Doc, I'm not religious. I was like, I didn't ask you to be. Like my job is to be here for you. The time whenever we had a function, they was like, Oh, Doc, we have our own religion. And I think my one of my guys was Catholic, and the other one, I don't know, he was probably Baptist or non-denominational or whatever it was. But he was like, I know we have we have our own religion, but we want you to pray. And I was like, Okay. And it's been everywhere I work. They was like, Oh, can you pray? Like even where I'm at right now. Hey, uh, we're about to eat. Can you say the prayer? I'm like, all y'all go to church or do something in the church. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you asking me? But I know, I know, I know how God, I know how God works. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. I'll get short and straight to the point. They was like, man, that was quick. We need you to pray all the time. I was like, no, it, it's just, I don't need to do all that in order for us to eat. Like, now <laughs> if God is moving in that way, then it's going to happen. You can't, you can't get, you can't get around it. Um, but like that's just one of the stories like we had a guy he he was he had a DUI someone got either <clears throat> seriously injured or uh died or something after being after his like getting hit by his doing his DUI he he was in the chapel faithfully he was in the ser- church service faithfully um nervous facing trial um and he beat the trial and was able to retire keep all his benefits like Mm. we literally was praying for him daily like and over there it's totally different like free and masturbation was encouraged on the websites like their websites is totally different like their wi-fi is totally different over there than it is here where you get ads constantly doesn't matter what site you're on you'll be on bible gateway and you're going to get an ad Oh, it doesn't wow. even matter. It doesn't even matter what site you were on. That's what I'm saying. It was so prevalent, like so perverse. It was like, dude, I'm trying to you know, refrain <laughs> and steer away, stay clear. And during that time as well, when I was stationed in Hawaii, I was celibate. So like that was a big journey too. And like my guys was like, bro, I don't know how you do it. I was like, well, it's, it's a decision. You know, mm. it's a decision you have to make. And you have to make sure you're around people that's going to hold you accountable. That's my thing, too. Hold me accountable. I don't care if I'm wrong, if I'm right. Hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. Because I got to answer to God. And I got to answer for what I do. So, but yeah, that's that's just that's just a fruit. And then I've had I've even had where people called me like cursed me out yelled at me and i'm like no that's not gonna happen because <laughs> i'm not talking to you that tone in that tone nor am i cursing you out and he was like but i don't care i don't care i don't care if you don't like the way i'm talking to you. i said well guess what this conversation is over 
So he tried to touch me and I, I, I curled him up, put him on the ground. And they was like, oh, you can't do that. And I was like, I just told him that he cannot talk to me this way. He cannot yell at me, curse at me, and I'm not talking. I'm not doing any of that to him. So when I did that, they was like, oh, okay, you're not playing around, are you? I'm like, no, I'm not, I don't. I don't and that's, see, that's my, that's my mentality. I don't bother anybody. So, like, when you do something like that, that and I just told you multiple times, you're not going to do that. I mean, in, being in the military itself is a ministry, though, because you encounter all walks of life. I mean, from the time I came in in 2009 to when I got out in 2016, I've encountered so many people to where I, 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 I still keep in touch with the majority of them. And the majority of them, <clears throat> I went to chapel with or I, I attended some type of church with. Mm. Okay. But yeah, like it's 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 a ministry within itself because you don't know you don't know who you're in, encountering, you know. You right. don't know when the, when the first time or the last time you're going to see that person. Um, and I and I'm so grateful for the churches that I attended when I was stationed in different places because, um, in Virginia, I went to Grove Baptist off of a uh, Grove Baptist with Doctor uh, Melvin Manor. And while I was away, they were sending me uh, sermon CDs. So even though I wasn't at the church anymore, they were still sending me CDs. Um, I was on the prayer list at my home church back in Memphis um, until I got out of the military. Mm. <clears throat> and then I still kept in contact with the main prayer warrior over the church that was in Virginia. And we still keep in contact to this day. Oh, wow. And it's like every minister that I've ever encountered while being in the service, I still keep in contact with. Hmm. And it's and it's all about building relationships and maintaining relationships. Some with it, some relationships aren't going to, you know, aren't going to last, but you got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. And that's with anything. That's with your relationship with Christ. That's with your relationship, your marriage. That's with your relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, um, or just your work relationship. You got to put the work in. That is so, so true. So, so true. All right. Um, all right, brother Captain J. Captain J, you have anything? Yeah, um, I got just one well, it's a pretty simple question, I think. Okay. Uh, but it's kinda how I I don't know, I even know how we how I became friends with you on Facebook where the connection came in. Mm-hmm. But I know I honestly how I got hooked was the um like I guess it's what the reels is that what they call them. I'm so technological. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, like today's testimony Tuesday mm-hmm. and all those, those, those type things. Mm-hmm. I look forward to those. How did you get started um, to do those kind of things? Like I know every day kind of has one. So um, every, every day has one except for Saturday. Like that's, that's my only thing. Like Saturday, I was like scriptorial, you know, scripture Saturday. Um, and I think I'm going to start that one, Scripture Saturday or Saturday Scripture or something, something along those lines. It's probably it's probably going to be Scripture Saturday, um, and just somebody and just have people share their script their favorite scripture in the comments. Um, but so everything I do, I ask God to give me. So so my prayer ministry is called Prayer Upon Request Enterprises, and if you abbreviate that, it's P U R E Prayer. So um, when he gave me, so I used to, I, I did, I, it used to be just post. Um, and then I started making videos. Um, but, um, and then I was going live, um, every day on Monday through Friday, um, for Miracle Monday, Testimony Tuesday, Worship Wednesday, Thankful Thursday, and Fellowship Friday. Um, cause you know, miracles start a week. We want, we want miracles. Uh, testimonies, you, it's good to share your testimony. And your testimonies are not just for you. Uh, worship Wednesday, hey, it's midweek. Worship, you know. We should be worshiping every day, but worship midweek. Um, thankful Thursday, hey, the fourth day of the week, you know. Um, being thankful. And then, of course, fellowship. F- Fridays, <coughs> excuse me, and my house is normally fellowship night where we get pizza, watch movies, you know playing game night, something, you know, movie night. Um, so just fellowship and, and um, that's one time I really take personal, like I'll read the Bible every morning. 
um, with um, my my uh, assistant pastor. Uh, he has his own Read the Bible with Me Club, um, and we read the Bible every morning. And we've been doing it for three years. Um, and <clears throat> several donation of ten dollars a month um, through Patreon, and um, and we've sent over three hundred Bibles to countries that are persecuted for reading the Bible. Um, and it's 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 a phenomenal thing. Like we read every morning at seven in the morning, and it's 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 phenomenal. But everything that I ask that I do, I ask God to help me with. So um, I have a men's page for men. It's called Calling All Men Out, and for short, it's Cameo. Um, and just calling out the man in you, you know, calling out the the provider in you, calling out the the protector, the you know, the person that God has ordained, um, whether you're married or not. Um, you're still a minister. You're still a preacher of the gospel. You're still a man of God. You're still a man of valor, a man of value. Um, you're necessary, noticed, and um, needed. That's my thing that I live by. You're noticed, you're necessary, and you're needed. Um, not all, not all <laughs> men hear that every day, but I want you to, to know that you are noticed, you're necessary, and you're needed. Um, and I want you guys to also know that I love you guys. If you haven't heard it today, I want to let you know that I love you guys. And God loves you best, but I love you guys. And I'm thankful for the relationship that we have um, and the relationship that it's going to be. Like, it's, it, this thing is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. Um, it's bigger than us. Um, God, is, God is breathing new life into us, even through this interview. Um, and many lives are going to be changed through it. So um, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And I can't wait to see, excuse me, what God, what God does. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, men are, as, they, um, as, as we all kind of know, kind of get, um, I don't say the short stick on stuff with mm -hmm. you have to be a tough guy and do, and, you know, you can't have emotions and oh, you know, man. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, and um, just like a little tidbit, like, you know, the the ego that comes with like, you know, um like man no man has to make more than the wife or type deal. No. no. It, yeah, well my, that that's the wife, struggles we have, but go ahead. You're good. Yeah. yeah, my my wife makes quite a bit more than me. I mean significantly mm -hmm. more. And it's not about that. I mean I, I mean I, yeah. I make up in other areas taking care of stuff at the house and whatnot. Yeah. But like she says, it's it's hour for hour, not dollar for dollar. Yeah. But and it's it's the foundation too, you know. Like if your foundation is in Christ, that of it, the things that separate man shouldn't even matter. You know what I mean? Like that stuff is things that the that the enemy uses as a tactic to separate us, not just from the love of God, but from the love of each other. So yeah. when the enemy presents that to you, you present him with, oh, don't worry, because we will not lack. Or you know, um, God said He'll supply all of our needs. So. In that way, <clears throat> you <clears throat> you have a weapon against the enemy, and you also have provision, and you have um, you have a you have a plan, and that's the plan, the word of God. When we put more pressure on the word instead of you know our problems or the pressures of this world, like the enemy can't even come at us. Like that's how he knows. Like he's defeated. Like he already knows, and he just tries. And, and get this. It's not even old. It's not even new tricks. It's the old stuff. It's the old tricks that mm -hmm. get us. It's not yeah. even the new stuff. It's the old tricks. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and like I always put it, um, like the the first thing is is God is so is the main thing. Mm -hmm. You know, after that it comes. You know, biblically, you know, it's the husband and then the wife. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I said my wife is making out, going out, making more money than I am. But um, I'm leading by example, so I'm mm -hmm. still the household in that aspect, and you know the faith level, the faith walk, yeah. and I need to, you know, not worry about what the world says. Adam, like I, in the last year or two, I mean, I've lost friends, colleagues mm -hmm. from yeah. you know faith walk, um, yeah. and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta have two people that, I'm, that I that I have to answer to, God mm -hmm. and my wife, or well, myself, mm -hmm. but besides mm -hmm. myself, and yeah. if you're not one of those two, I'm really not concerned. Overall, yeah. the level yeah. of percentage is like God's first. That's the that's the priority, and and yeah. you've been so much focus on others. 
Um, yeah, because if God gets if, if God gets the glory out of your life, everybody else get the overflow. So, mm-hmm. so in that aspect, that's well, all that matters. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you said earlier, people can see the the, the light that's in you. They know yeah. they're yeah. coming for that. And I get that occasionally. No, occasionally, mm-hmm. you know, I have a friend mm-hmm. that I have actually brought back brought from, from being Jewish to being atheist years ago, mm-hmm. uh, and just last year. He doesn't. He hasn't come to Christ yet. Mm-hmm. But oh, but the seed is planted. The seed is planted. planted. That's yeah. all. That's all that matters, and that's what we have to understand. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit convinc- The Holy Spirit convinces mm-hmm. and convicts. You yeah. know. Yeah. And like, so, yeah. Go ahead. Get there. Yeah. And like right now, so now he has a, he has faith in God, um, and something just happened a couple you no know, about a month ago. Was, pretty heart-wrenching for him because i don't believe in coincidence anymore because you know it goes it's it's all it's all from god mm-hmm. and here uh, some somebody that's you know was atheist for so long mm-hmm. to come there to that point is amazing it's like i know i didn't do it you know mm-hmm. but i was able to help plant a seed and now it's going to go from there and that's what that's what we're supposed to be is to be that light in the darkness yes but yes so yes that's amazing, and that's not even the that's not even the end of it. Mm-hmm. This is just the beginning to something greater, something better, and he's going to be able to use that as his testimony. And his mm-hmm. testimony is going to bless somebody else that's in the same was in the same state. Mm-hmm. And we have to remember to get out of this state of emergency and get into the state of expectancy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, because being in a state of emergency cause us to 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 not believe to have unbelief to disbelief mm-hmm. and our actions will always follow what we believe amen yeah um i appreciate all that i think i'm done with my questions i had like that one and a few other topics i got on there um orlando got next <laughs> on that <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, just to let y'all know, you're listening to QuakeRadio.com live. Um, your humble host, Orlando, presents, and we're sitting down, myself and my brother, Captain J, is sitting down with Mr. Michael Watts Jr. That's right, that's right. If the name sounds familiar, it should. The brother is on Facebook um all the time with his you know uplifting videos monday through friday things of that nature so definitely man keep it locked in keep it locked in and uh listen and check out what this brother has has to offer and has to deliver to you from our heavenly father definitely um i wanted to ask you about you being signed to a. are you signed to a label right now so I'm um, actually I'm actually not I'm actually <clears throat> a part of the label um, mm-hmm. with helping promoting and everything, um, but um, it's it, it just rolled out this year, um, mm-hmm. and most of most of the artists that are in the label are CHH, um, and we can definitely talk offline in regards to linking up with them um, and getting their radio or what uh, what needs to happen for them to be on you guys' radio show mm-hmm. um, with interviews as well. Um, but yeah, um, and they're ministers as well. Um, they they have a <laughs> excuse me prayer line um, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays um, where we get on at at seven in the morning. Um, it's probably for about forty five minutes to an hour, and someone brings the word. Um, but it's 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 phenomenal. Like it's from all over, like all over the U.S. for now. Um, but we'll be expanding. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I know. um, Yeah, that's that's headed by um, I am Church, right? Yeah, Mr. Church. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Church, Mr. Church. Shout out to that brother there, doing some amazing things with his fabulous beard and everything. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely, man. Definitely. So, um. So you say you you started you started at an early age around twelve. So well, that's when I got baptized. That's baptized. when I got baptized. Yeah. Okay. But I've been in church. I've been in church all my life. Right. Right. 
So that's that was a question that I had because always it always um, not amazes me, but Mm -hmm. it does kind of, you know, take me back a little bit where Mm -hmm. when I see kids or younger Mm -hmm. adults, Mm -hmm. you know, believing so strongly in Christ and then they still have to go to school and Mm -hmm. deal with everyday Mm -hmm. school stuff. Mm -hmm. How was that for you? Oh man, so it was a it was a it was a whirlwind because I knew that I knew from birth um that God had a calling on my life. Um I was born a uh, premature, two pounds three ounces. Um oh. and <clears throat> I had one of the highest hospital bills out of all my siblings. Um <laughs> and my mom so get this, my mom had six kids. Um, so you're still paying that still- off. Well, three, three was still birth. <laughs> no, no, no. Everything's paid debt free. No, I'm not. Um, saying, I was just joking. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, but my mom had three still births, mm. and then she had me. My she had my sister, myself, and my younger brother. So we weren't. In, we were never supposed to be born, honestly. But God. Um, yes. But God, man. Um, but um, started. I, I I started going to church real young. Um, always wanted to be in church. Um, and school was different <laughs> because the environment, even people that I went to church with, people that I hung out with, um, some was church goers, some, you know, would go only doing funerals. Um, but that year <clears throat> when I got baptized, um, that was a year where I lost a lot of people. Um, and death is not a stranger to me. Like I, 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 I've been close to death. Um, and it's, it's something that we never get used to. Um, but um, I had lost a lot of people that year. And that day I got baptized, I think six other people got baptized, which was my, my baby brother, my oldest sister, um, three of my cousins, three of my friends. Um, and I couldn't believe it. Like I was the first person on the altar. Um, and I was just new, like, God, I got to change. Like I wasn't perfect as a kid, but <clears throat> Like I wouldn't, I wasn't always in trouble. I don't, I still don't have a police record to this day. Um, but like, lucky you. Yes, <laughs> and trust me, trust me. I've put myself in situations where I should have been locked up. Mm. <laughs> but again, the grace of God. Um, and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't condone any of the behavior that I participated in. But. Um, that's why I knew, like, God, I need your help. Like, every day, that's my prayer. God, help me through this day. Help me through this situation. Um, and gangs were very prevalent um, growing up for me. Um, um, having babies while in high school was very prevalent for my peers. Um, I mean, I was I was a virgin until the age of 18. So I was, I was more focused on schoolwork, getting an education, then, you know, I had girlfriends, of course, um, but I didn't, my focus was on academics. Mm. Um, it wasn't on, you know, trying to see if I can mac the most girls. I was like, mm, that ain't going to end well. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like my focus was different. My, my outlook on life was different and my perspective was different. <clears throat> and of course, it changed again once, of course, um, when I became, when I had the, I made the decision to be celibate, like, I was in a rough part of my life when I was just laying with whatever, being with whoever, um, and it got real. And I was like, God, you got to help me with this because I don't want to go down the road where I don't recover from. And not everybody recovers, honestly. Right. Not everybody recovers. Um, So um, from 12 to 22, um, it was rough. It was a rough, it was a rough time um, from going overseas for the first time, um, being on my own, um, of course, joining the military um, at 18. Um, but I didn't go to boot camp until, like, I didn't go to boot camp until, like, two months before I turned 19. So, uh, <clears throat> and I had a few delays, a few hangups, um, but um, denied does not mean, delayed does not mean denied, so. Um, um, it was just, it was, and I mean, <laughs> excuse me, it was girls all over the place, <laughs> like trying to distract me. Um, 
being introduced to women at a young age, um, being introduced to um, different other things, um, things with, um, but it was just like being introduced to stuff. I had to fight many battles um, while trying to maintain my salvation, maintain my my sanity. Um, but with God's help, I, I made it through it. And one of the hardest times of my life was recently, but I'm still working through some things, but I won't complain. I just ask God for his help. Amen. But yeah, uh, it was, it was, it was, it's, and of course, you know, you have ministers in your family, you know, you have deacons in your family. Um, everybody look up to you when it comes to spirituality and prayer, um, with whatever they're going through. Um, you're like the first person they call and it's like some days, you know, you got to unplug because it's like, I'm there for everybody else, you know, who's, who's, you know, who's checking on me. Um, and sometimes you get burnt out. Like I, I was burnt out at a, for, for a time because it was like, <clears throat> I'm serving, I'm doing this, you know, making God a number one priority. I don't care what it is, who it is, you know, God comes first. If the church needs me to do something, Hey, I'm there, you know, and then people used to be like, hey, 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 calm down. You know, there's other people, uh, you know. But I was just like, <clears throat> well, my relationship with God is different. So if God need me to do something, that's what it is. Right, right. So I had to make that decision. But and I mean, it's worth it. It was worth it. So, um, so can you, and, and I know this may be, I mean, you you probably can, but so can you differentiate your growth with Christ from your early age to to now? Can yes. you can you say yes. what you may have been weaker at back then, but you know you're stronger at it now? Okay, um, so I was definitely weaker to prepare to peer pressure. Um, and, you know, doing what the crowd wanted to do instead of, you know, um, what I wanted to do, um, like say for instance, going clubbing and stuff, like even while serving in the military, like that was my thing. Like my friends were like, Hey, look, we're going to go to the club. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll go. Cause I was mostly the designated driver anyway. I was like, I don't really drink and I don't really smoke. So I was like, yeah, I'll go, you know. And for some reason, God always had me watch out for everybody that I was do being designated driver for. So, like, in that time, like, that was my only thing, like, going to the clubs. Um, and then uh, pornography and masturbation was, like, my addiction. Um, and <clears throat> being around others that held me accountable was, like, you know, um, I had a particular pastor um, out of Japan um pastor nick guerra he was like hey how you doing like are you are you undefeated or are you 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 struggling right now and he was like well i just pray you i just pray you you get the deliverance that you need and he always would check on me daily um anytime i need to talk to him i could call him i can call him right now which the time difference is totally different but um <laughs> but <clears throat> but really um yeah, I would say the peer pressure, like, I don't really need to do nothing with anybody now. Um, and some of those same people, like, I mean, everybody got different lives, families, and um, on their own path or whatever. But uh, but definitely that um, the pornography, masturbation, um, um, straying myself away, got some work to do. But um, honestly, I mean, it was a struggle. It was more of a struggle then than it is now. Um but yeah, um, and of course, uh, like I used to be so adamant about, hey, I'm not missing church for nothing. But you know, sometimes your body needs a break. Your body needs, you know, to ref ref refit and re reflect. Um, and some days I'd be like, you know, I'm not gonna miss this Sunday, but you know, one Sunday a month I'm gonna, you know, just relax because I serve in many capacities at the church I do go to, um, which is Church of Twenty in Jacksonville. Um, but I try to, I try to do everything, but like, say, like if I get sick or something, I try to let my body recoup. I pray, take my vitamins, you know, anoint myself with oil, speak the word. <clears throat> but of course you still, your body still has to overcome the process. Um, 
but definitely I'm more um, driven than than ever um, to just want my life to please God. I'm not perfect. Um, I don't claim to be perfect. I just ask that God make me perfect in his eyesight. Um, that's all I ask, that God let my life be pleasing to you and let everybody else get the <laughs> overflow um, of my life. Amen. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all are in for a treat since I have figured out how to play music while we're on the <laughs> while we're on the show. We're going to go ahead and cut away with a, a track here. It's a brand new track that was dropped into our email by Ruben Jones. I believe I don't want to misquote, but I believe he's from. Yes. OK. Yeah, he is. He's from the St. Louis area. Uh, St. Louis stand up and this track is actually featuring another artist uh, that we play his music quite often Mr. Rob Redeemed and he's also one half of uh, not the same podcast crew over there Mr. Rob Redeem and uh, C. Micah so uh, we're gonna play all the time it's a brand new joint just came out so make sure y'all go check it out go look for it and we will be right back with more quakeradio.com I couldn't masterpiece. Peace. Drew me in, show me him, cause of my doubts to cease. Okay. I was going the wrong way, chasing wins, but was losing. Thinking the guy that he pursued me, causing me to bust a Yui. Grace and mercy on me, Jesus Christ had made it new me. Goodness led me to repentance, you can say the spirit moved me. Yeah. Okay. All of my sins, I could have died. died. But you took a dead man and made him alive. Made him alive. When I think about him, what comes to mind? Comes to mind. God is good all the time, all the time, yeah. Hey, what can I say? What can I say? Always making ways out of no way. Everything he's done, I cannot repay. Cannot repay. Has he ever filled me in? No way. Yeah, he's good all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time. Got my identity in Christ, not in Audemars. And I ain't Switzerland on this, I'ma tell them all. Gave new life when I repented, yeah, he did it all. Confess, believe, he died and rose. He took them talking Jesus. Made me whole, was broken, man, my life was all in pieces. This my testimony, this is more than a thesis. Today you need to choose who you really want to be with. No time for secrets. Yeah. When I say God is good, I'm talking all the time He comes when you need him, never late, he's right on time He coming back soon, just a matter of time I pray they get it before it's too late, get left behind Either you all in, or nothing at all Believe me when I tell you pride come before the fall But God forgave me and redeemed me, now I'm standing tall And to my last breath, I'ma give him my all Hey, what can I say? What can I say? Always making ways out of nowhere I cannot replay, cannot replay. Has he ever filled me in? Yeah, no way. Yeah, he's good all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey. When I say that God is good, I swear it's all the time. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back once again, once again. That was All the Time by Ruben Jones featuring Rob Redeem. Uh, make sure y'all go check that out. It's out on all major digital outlets. And also you can hear right here on Quake RYC Praise News where music is therapy. You can hear right here. That's right. Just keep it locked 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
Download the free Live 365 app. Yes, sir. <laughs> man, so we're back. We're back with my man, uh, Michael Watts Jr. And my bro is sitting in with me tonight. Man, y'all just don't know, man. This is a rare treat to have Captain J up and not sleep or something. <laughs> I can't sleep. Not a lot. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. So, um, Mr. Michael Watts Jr., let let yes, the sir. folks know, man. What is? Let me see. What question can I ask you that no one has probably ever <laughs> asked you before in the face of this earth? Let me see. Hmm. Oh, is your is your toe next to your big toe bigger than your big toe? <laughs> it's longer than the big toe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Say it again. That was a good question. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, so who does the cooking in your house, man? You or your wife? Um... So my parents live with me as well. So um, oh, okay. Kind of, kind of, kind of all three, and then I cook sometimes. <laughs> okay. I cook breakfast mostly. Look at oh, so you and don't put, really cook put, then? So you don't and really I put cook. stuff in the air fryer. Oh wow! <laughs> well, I'm, so you... I'm, I always wanted to learn, so I'm, yeah. I'm 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 in that phase right now where I'm learning. Okay. So I'm what is so what is more. the what is the one dish that you know you can cook that's not you know scrambled eggs or something? And not air um, fry. Um, I would say um, grilled cheese. <laughs> like my kids, my kids like my kids like it so much. So whenever I make it, they that's all they want is grilled cheese. But I mean, I've 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 I made like um, this like sticky rice one time, okay. and it was like uh, white rice, uh, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, mm-hmm. uh, onions, bell peppers, and um, half of a hamburger patty and i made it mixed it all uh let it let it simmer for a while and it came out pretty good i ate it for two days oh but wow only i ate it because i don't like sharing when i cook but, oh wow <laughs> oh come so on I, man so right, be, so, so right before right <laughs> right before i came on i had baby i was making me some um eggs some um <clears throat> some kielbasa sausage and um and some waffles and my wife's gonna say, "Oh, you're gonna make me reference," and I'm like, mm, uh, <laughs> "Not when I gotta do all this." So I bathe my kids every night too. So like I bathe my kids before I came on. So I'm like, "Oh, I'm trying to, you know, get stuff started." And I ain't ate yet, so I gotta warm my food back up. Um, <laughs> but when I finish the interview, it's fine. Um, but <laughs> for the most part, I, I try to make sure, try to make sure everybody eat before I eat, so that way I can enjoy it. Um, Oh but, wow! Yeah. Um, Come on, man. Yeah. You can't be like that. You gotta share, man. Come on now, sharing is caring. I, I do, I do share, <laughs> and I do care. And just when I haven't ate since twelve thirty, um, <laughs> I, all I drink is mostly water. And I mean, I might have juice or soda, or some tea or whatever. But most of the time, if I don't eat, like I ate for dinner last night, I ate fruit because I was like, I don't like eating late, but. I mean, I'm gonna turn something up tonight because I ain't eaten since twelve thirty. So, yeah. Um, but I, I share for the most part. I try to make sure everybody eat um, before I eat, so that way they're not asking for my food. Okay. So I, I feed okay. my food. I, I feed my kids before I eat, so that way it ain't no interruption. There you go. <laughs> ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that. You make sure everybody get their belly full, and then hey, yeah. you can sit down and start greasing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that at all, man. Um, bro, since Tuesday is testimony Tuesday and mm-hmm. we have you on the line, I actually, mm-hmm. you know, not so much a uh, testimony, but mm-hmm. share a uplifting word. Okay. You know, for some folks out there that may be struggling, that may just be not knowing because like you said, we've been going through a lot 
mm-hmm. in these days, mm-hmm. even after COVID, it seems like yeah. it's just been a dark yeah. cloud just yeah. over a lot of people. So, uh, yeah. yeah, if you could share an share a uplifting yeah. word, man. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to say simply, don't give up. Don't give in. But give it <clears throat> to God. Don't give up. Don't give in. But give it to God. Because when you give up, the hardest part, the hardest part is, is starting over. It's not the hardest part. The hardest part is getting started. But when you give up, you got to start. And sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you can't do that. And then you lose your strength. You you lose your peace. You lose your joy. But when you give it to God, you're able to gain strength. You're able to gain joy. You're able to gain more than you lost. So... Whatever you're dealing with right now, I want you to close your eyes, breathe, and say, God, I trust you with my situation. I trust you with my circumstance. I trust you with my life. I trust you with my finances. I trust you with my overall being. Because, God, without you, I am nothing. Without you, I can do nothing. But with you, God, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And, Father, because you are God, I can be me. Because you are God, I can live for you. So don't fret, don't be afraid, but trust and know that God is going to do it for you. And whatever you're going through, it is not the end. So we cancel, I want to pray as well. We cancel the spirit of suicide right now. During this holiday season, we cancel the spirit of depression. We cancel the spirit of anxiety. We cancel the spirit of um, anything that's not of God. Any spirit that's trying to come attack you, that's trying to come against your family, your marriage, your finances, your health. Um, I pray that your body lines up with the word of God and that it functions as you designed it to function, God. And we thank you, Father, even now for this time, this opportunity to acknowledge that we need you, Father. And I thank you for Quake RIC Radio Praise News, God. And Father God, that mu- where music is therapy, God. And we thank you, Father, that you've provided us with music as a form of therapy, God. We, you've also given us, Father, tunes, Father. You've given us beats, God. You've given us aromas and rhythms, Father, that are going to glorify and edify your name. So we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give in, but give it to God. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for coming on tonight, brother. No man. problem, man. I, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, and I'm 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 excited for what God what God is doing. Even now, He's working it out. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, before we go, before we go, anything else that you have, my brother, Captain J. Um. Just one last question. Usually, ask like musicians this kind of stuff, but um, you had said previously you have um, like the clothesline and um, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Where can people find your information for like, this, you know, the stuff that you're selling and that, okay. has, and um, then, like other uh, things, like, like the prayer mornings and uh, pure and all that kind of stuff. Okay, um, so you can find me um, on Facebook at Mike Watt Jr. No S, um, and then you can also um look up pray upon request enterprises and you can find my shoe company slash clothing company homage company that's h-o-m-a-g-e company you can also find us on instagram facebook um under those so on instagram you can find me um under one man city 2122 um or just type in my name mike watt jr um, and three pages will pop up. That's my clothing page, my prayer page, and my main page. Um, prayer upon request, um, that's my prayer page. Uh, we also have a phone number on there. Um, you can call that phone number. I'll get your message. Um, um, and just follow me on there. Um, I'm on TikTok, but I don't know what's going on with TikTok, if they're going to ban it or if they're going to take it away or whatever. But I try to put most of my messages <clears throat> on TikTok as well. Um, but I've record so much that i have to 
post ball and putting it on TikTok, but I just put it on Instagram and, tic- and uh, Facebook. Um, but, um, and I use actually StreamYard when I do my lives for prayer. Um, so I can turn that into audio as well. And I also have a podcast. Um, it's called um, In Your Reach Podcast, um, where everything is in your reach. So, awesome. um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. Um, it's been, it's been a journey. Um, been having my shoe club, my shoe and clothing line for two years now. Um, and right now we have four permanent, four shoes out right now. Um, want to be launching some new ones. Um, this upcoming year, uh, I have a book coming out. Um, <clears throat> it's a four part book. Um, each quarter I'm going to be releasing one. So it's going to be called, um, the right now moment inspirational book. Um, Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So okay. I'm excited for everything that's going on. I'm trying to do more interviews, uh, more uh, podcast episodes. Um, so awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. And I'm just going to throw one last thing in uh, um, for Quake Radio, Quake RYC, is that we are um, nonprofit for anyone's listening. Um, if God puts that on your heart to make any kind of uh, Donations, we are 501c3. Um, QuakeRadio.com. Um, there's a little button there that says to donate here. Basically, all the money comes in goes out to events um, that we do outreach events. Um, to help purchase mer- merchandise for folks to help support you know, uh, people in the ministry there. Um, it, it, none of it goes to, as we all do this um, for the glory of God. So none of it comes into our pockets. Um, but we do. We are five hundred one c three now, and there is a donate button on the, uh, QuakeRadio.com. So if you get called to do that, not expected anything's appreciated. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to wrap up this episode of <clears throat> ooh, Excuse me of QuakeRadio.com live. Uh, I think what what Mike got going over there is trying to come over through the airways to me. But, <laughs> but nah. so uh, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow night because we have another awesome, awesome interview for you all. Uh, I believe it's uh, Filthy Rags. Yep, yep. Okay, so we have another awesome interview for y'all tomorrow night, uh, Filthy Rags. So you know Wednesday night is our rock night on QuakeRadio.com Live. So, you know, it's just fitting that we have a rock band come on in gospel rock man come on in and sit down with us and uh we're gonna be chopping it up tomorrow night having a good time so make sure y'all tune in make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend you know what's going on and then um thursday night we have another interview for y'all this gentleman is going to be calling from a whole nother time zone and everything you know when it is is what is it is uh 858 here it's like the next it's like the next day where he's calling from. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a good time on Thursday. Most definitely, man. I haven't spoken uh to the brother in a long time, so we will be announcing that a little bit more uh closer to the time and everything. So I'm excited about that as well. And then we have a morning interview. Can y'all believe it, man? We got a morning interview next Friday. I feel like a a real station now. <laughs> We're gonna have a morning interview by a um a rock artist, a gospel rock artist. So uh he dropped his his single on us, so we'll be talking more about that as well closer to the time comes so excited man the ball's rolling god is really doing some awesome things with quake ryc praise news where music is therapy and uh we just want to say thank you to the listeners to y'all to anybody that's ever shared a post to anybody that's ever helped us um push forward into what we're doing we do appreciate you we do thank you very much for everything that you're that you have done and uh and that you continue to do and that what god continues to do so uh like i always love to say man god wants the best for you but do you do you want the best for yourself god can want the best for you all he wants but if you don't want the best for you then that's where we we gotta we gotta nip that 
nip that in the butt right there. But um, so once again, brother, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on, man. Thank you all. I greatly appreciate it. And this won't be the last. All right. Most definitely. Most right. definitely. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to end the show off actually with a track by uh, Filthy Rags called um, uh, Long Longs for You. And we will catch up with y'all and we will see y'all and talk to y'all tomorrow night. All right. Peace, y'all. Love you. Let's go. Take me in.